What's up guys, it's Azrin here, and I was going to bring a live commentary, I guess, but the live commentary is kind of laggy. I'll see if I can work with it and see if it's postable to YouTube, but it was really laggy and, and shit, so I don't know if I'll be able to. So, here we have my week 3 match versus Drampa, supposed to be, but since Drampa is moving or something like that, I get Chiangi instead, and his team, his team is, um, um, the closer side, Chestnut, Dragonite, Lucario, Slowbro, Tapu Koko, and Togekiss. So let's start the battle. He leads off with Chestnut, I lead off with Rhydon, I, this thing is here to get rocks up and that's it, to break sashes and to break the scale on Dragonite. So then he seed bombs, I switch into Altaria, he gets up a spike and at that point I'm like, fuck, I forgot spikes. I fucking forgot spikes. Like, I forgot that they existed, that is terrible. So then here, this is probably the biggest misplay on my part. I Mega Evolve into my Altaria. I Agility. And no, absolutely not. This was the wrong play. I should have just Hyper Voice for damage. Because I knew I couldn't 2 hit KO this. I, this was like very stupid on my part. So, and I make a even worse play now in Hyper Voice again. I know I could live a Dazzling Gleam from a Togekiss unless it's like Specs or Life Orb or some shit like that with my HP investment. But I decided to just get damage on this for no reason when I had like a Rotom or a Magnezone in the back. I do, don't get it. Hyper Voice. He gleams and he gets a crit. That's unfortunate, but to be fair, I deserved it for playing too thirsty with my Altaria. And since Altaria was going to be one-shotting, or at least two-hit KOing the majority of his team, now I was like super in the back. Even though he he, he only killed one Pokemon, this was, I, I like I said in my team builder, I dedicated my entire team to beat, to, to, to funneling the Altaria swoop, and I just blew it. I just absolutely blew it. So, I thought I lost at that point. Going to Golbat here, try to get some chip damage. He goes into Slowbro. Should have predicted that and gone for the Toxic. Goes into Rotom. He goes for the Psychic here. So then now I Volt out. He sacks his Togekiss. Alrighty. So I go into my Weavile now. He goes into Chestnut as expected. I should be going out back into... I don't know why I sacked right on. Honestly, this was also another misplay because I had a Crobat wall. I was just afraid of like Leech Seed Chestnut, but from his set, he obviously didn't have it. They're going to Golbat, goes into Slowbro. Hi, Brave Bird. I know he doesn't do enough damage. Here's another instance where I could have actually lost the game. If this guy just psychic, if he just straight up psychic and knocked out my Golbat, he would have won because then Chestnut, like, I have nothing to kill Chestnut. I had nothing. To kill Chestnut with. So he could have just Psychic here, but instead I taunt and I predict the recovery. The thing is that he there was no use for him recovering because I had Rotom and Mag and then Weavile to boot. So now I go back into Weavile trying to predict the Psychic. He makes a good play here in Scalds. Gets the burn. But that's fine. Because I knock. So now I get him in Brave Bird range. Which is all I honestly wanted. So the taunt ends, I go into Rotom, I will Volt out here. Shout out to Rotom for having Levitate and that, that spike not affecting me. Oh my goodness. If there's one saving grace in this battle, besides what's coming up, it's this fucking balloon. It's this fucking balloon. I went pivoted into Mag so many times, and, and, the, fa and the fact that it's Scarf was able to like help me, or the fact that it was Balloon and not being affected by the spike was so well. I don't know why I did that, because I could have just vaulted for damage. I didn't realize I had Volt Switch. Like, I was playing extremely terrible this match. So, he goes into there. I go for the Toxic instead of the Brave Bird. I don't know why, because Brave Bird would have two-hit KO him. So, that's another terrible misplay on my part. I should have just two-hit KO Brave Bird. And then my, I guess the reason why I did that was I feared the Tapu Koko. So I felt that like toxicing the Tapu Koko would have been better in the long run. I didn't actually think he'd go hard into Dragonite, but you know, hindsight is twenty twenty. So that's my was my thought process there. He volts. So my so now I'm left with two Pokemon. At this point, it's like oh the Lucario can knock it out. Oh the Coco 
or the chestnut can do it too. So the chestnut comes out. I finally realize I have Volt Switch, and I decide to Volt out. And I go to Rotom Moat. He drains Punch, recovers most of his health back. And like I'm like, okay, you know what? I'm just going to see if I can get like a crit with Flash Cannon or something like that. And try to win the game, so I'll just whittle him a little bit. Um, so I decided to go for T-Bolt. I, 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 like, if I actually wanted to just whittle him for damage, I should have Leaf Stormed. But I just decided to T-Bolt because I was absolutely brain dead. In no way, in no way, even though it happened, was my intention to get the para. It, my intention was not to get this para, which happens right here. This para occurs right here. And he gets paralyzed. That's one para. I switch out, and I realize now my best play is I have a chance to win if I para on the switch. If I get a para, another para, and then a crit. Like, I still have a chance at winning. So I switch into Magnazone, and lo and behold, he gets paralyzed. So now I'm like, alright baby, let's get this crit. Let's get this fucking crit going, boys. I flash cannon, I do not get the crit. I don't know if the crit would have killed if, if that's a max roll or whatnot. I get this death drop, and the para. God, I am so lucky and bad. Like, honestly. Honestly, with all the misplays I made this game, I did not deserve to win this game. So now I had a fighter's chance. A fighting chance. So, he goes into Lucario. This is probably his downfall. This Lucario apparently does not have a fighting coverage, and I didn't realize that at first. So, I went for Mirror Coat here, and I flinched. I think I, the pulse comes out. I get the mirror code off to kill the Lucario, and now Tapu Koko comes out. So Tapu Koko comes out. The eye faint, and now I, I'm going into Rotom, and now it's all about whether this Leaf Storm can knock it out. But this is Scarf Max Special Attack, and it is able to knock out the Tapu Koko, and I pull out, pull it out of my ass. Yeah, absolutely hacksy. Those three paras lost me the game. Yep, it did. I did not deserve that. Yeah, I told him I, I just played too thirsty. And we find out that his Lucario set is Agility, Nasty Pulse, Dark Pulse, Flash Kin. So I don't. I didn't even have to fear priority from it. That that's the funny thing. I didn't even have to fear priority. That which is wild. Like the fact that he didn't run Fighting Stab. I mean, I honestly don't understand why he didn't run Fighting Stab. I have so many fighting weeks. I have so many fighting weeks on my team. Let's let's take a look at like my fighting weeks on this team. One, two. Okay, I guess like there's there's less than I thought. One, the Rhydon, the Avalog, the Weavile, the Mag. Yeah, there's only four week out of out of the ten you could say, but well, that's almost forty percent. And for them, for that matter, what are my fighting resists? I have three of them. So, so in all, seven of my Pokemon, seven of my draft Pokemon just get like walloped by fighting. And you killed one of the ones that was resisted. You killed both the two of the ones that resisted fighting, Altaria and Crobat. So it was like, eh. so I mean, the fact that he didn't run fighting stab was odd. I don't know what he was planning. I did not know what he was planning with his team. But anyway, that was. A hell of a game. I don't think it was really a good game because it was super fucking hacksy. You know, hacks lean toward my favor. He got he got some he got like ha one hacks, but like I, not the majority of the hacks was on my side. Definitely not gonna lie. So I guess that's a wake up call. That's a wake up call. We gotta prep better. We gotta think better. But we managed to get you know we managed to sneak by week three. And only and the only consequence was to break my 6-0 streak, and but still a win is a win. So hope you guys enjoyed that. That was crazy. So uh, hope you guys enjoyed that. <laughs> Leave a like, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.